Weight loss tip number 18, cut the blue light before bed. Now, you might have heard of this tip before, but never really understood the reasons behind it and how it affects your results, and in particular, belly fat. Most people have heard of blue light and how it affects your circadian rhythm. It's pretty simple to put it in other words, your body has a like an internal biological clock and it has many processes internally tied into it. For example, early morning sunrise, we go from dark night sky to a red tone. And similarly at sunset, we get exposed to more red light. Full red light spectrum has a gazillion benefits on your body. It's incredibly useful in healing as well. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Red light therapy, <laughs> go look it up. <laughs> now, midday sun is brighter and has more blue tones in it. When you're exposed to blue light, it tells your body it's the middle of the day and it's time to be wide awake. The screens you watch and most of the lights in your home have a lot of blue light spectrum in them. This means that exposure to your phone, your telly, your computers, or even just your bright lights at home all tell your body to be alert and awake, even if you're just trying to get ready to go to bed. Now, it seems technology has caught up with it, um, at least to a degree. And now when you look at your phone or your computer screen or even your telly, as you get into the evening, you've now got a blue light filter, which takes away some of that blue spectrum, but it's only limited. If it was truly effective, the screen would be quite orange and dim, and it would not be bright. The bright light itself is, is a problem. So it's really more of a gimmick. You're still being exposed to blue light. Let's get back to the topic. How does signaling your body that it's time to be wide awake, even at night, work against your weight loss efforts, particularly when it comes to belly fat? There are a few reasons, some of them more obvious than others. Um, yes, there is the whole thing about if you're, if you're wide awake, you might not be able to switch off, which means less restful night sleep, more cortisol, more hungry in the morning, and less energy to work out and you know smash your training. The less obvious reason is a good night's sleep means good production of melatonin. Melatonin suppresses estrogen. Estrogen, when left unsuppressed, upregulates alpha-2 receptors on belly fat. These alpha-2 receptors make belly fat a lot more stubborn. So, less restful night's sleep, less melatonin, more estrogen, more alpha-2 receptors, more belly fat. Unfortunately, melatonin supplements don't do the same thing. The only way you can get it to work is to get your body to produce it naturally. And that means getting a good night's sleep. And the way to get that is to reduce your blue light exposure leading up to bedtime. Now, just to illustrate how important this is, and also to give you a bit of a recap, first of all, belly fat is not the only place where you've got alpha-2 receptors. You also got them on love handles, moobs, bingo wings, um, thunder thighs. All those problem spots suffer from alpha-2 receptors. You need a good night's sleep to get melatonin up to reduce the activity of alpha-2 receptors. We've got other videos on our channel if you want to explore the process in a bit more depth. Alpha-2 receptors, beta receptors, adrenaline, fat breaking, fat burning, the whole shebang. Um, but the message is there's no real way around it. If you want to lose weight, especially in your stubborn areas, you really do need a good night's sleep. Our recommendation is to really switch off before bed. That means taking about an hour of your time leading to bedtime to really concentrate on not looking at your phone, not looking at your laptop, your computers, or being exposed to bright blue lights. This will naturally let your body start to wind down for the day. You could also install dimmer switches to dim the lights at your home and focus the time on getting other things ready. Maybe you could get your gym bag ready or your clothes for the next day, or maybe even cook your lunch and put it in the fridge for the next day. Even better, if you already have a mobility routine to do in the evening, this is the perfect time. This doesn't have to be 100% strict. You just need to do all you can to reduce your blue light exposure on the wind down to bedtime. Do you know anyone else who's struggling with belly fat, who falls asleep on the sofa while doom scrolling on their phone? <laughs> Why not share this video with them and help them reap the weight loss benefits of a good night's sleep? Thanks for watching. For more weight loss tips like this, visit our YouTube channel or head over to bellyproof.com forward slash tips. <laughs>